Yeah. Tonight we're here at Natick. We got a bunch of the boys ready to dial in their skills and their craft as we're in season. We're just sharpening the axe every week. How many of you guys watched college lacrosse this weekend? What was the most controversial thing of the weekend? Glove kick. Oh, the glove kick. Now, we'll talk about it, because like I think Coach Tillman's an awesome coach. He's, you know, he comes to the Whip Snakes games, he's been in the locker room, because he's we have a lot of Maryland guys on our team, and I think he's one of the best coaches the college games ever seen. What do you guys think about calling that out? You know, I I don't think he would lie about it. He probably did just ask the ref, and I think for us as face-off guys, there's learning points to this, right? If there's a rule that you gotta wear the same gloves, I've used both gloves, right? Those cell fives are probably the most protective face-off gloves there are from STX. So like, I don't blame the kid for using them, but if you know the rule is that you gotta use the same stuff, there's no reason not to use the same stuff, right? And then number two, have you guys gone into a game where you think someone's stick might be illegal? You think someone's hand might be on the plastic? You think someone might be leaning closer to the ball to get an advantage? Although I don't think the gloves you use are an advantage. As face-off guys, you have to be on top of every detail, right? And if we want to beat guys in those really tight games, if he's cheating, you got to say something. And you don't always have to call the ref out or yell at him or complain, because I think most of them do not respond to that. You know, in the PLL, you guys probably see some of the clips. The refs are really verbal. And when coaches yell at them, they yell at them back. You think you're going to need a call if you're yelling at anybody? No, but if you ask him a question, hey, do you think his stick might be a little too pinched? Can you just check it next quarter? Do you think that's really harmful? What happens if the kid gets a three minute stick violation? Do you just help your team out? <laughs> just by asking a smart question, right? So there's ways that you can be wise about how you go about the officials. And I think that, you know, although Ohio State's probably mad about it, um, even though I thought they played a great game and they were in position to win, I don't like Maryland that much either. And Big Ten, I don't like rooting for Rutgers. Um, but I think in a tight game like that, anything, anything's fair, right? All's fair in love and war, as they say. So, the moral of the story, don't be afraid to ask the refs a couple questions, because you know, in that game, it definitely helped them win. It took a possession away from Ohio State in a one-goal game. Was it right or wrong? It's not for me to say, but there's nothing wrong with asking questions. All right, let's get after it tonight. We're gonna split the group right away. I know Sam and uh, Sam and Derek will be here momentarily. So Kyle, do you wanna take anyone who wants to do technique work? If you wanna do some technique work to start, you're newer to the sessions, less experienced, go down towards that box net. Everyone else, grab a ball, let's meet up on this half. Whoa, right? I like choking up when I do this. It really lets me overemphasize using that left hand. And rather than doing like a one-handed clamp, I think this is a much better way to practice practice technique, down. Five reps, left hand hit, stays low. Set. Five push-ups for every early, that's the one warning, down. No one should be going early in warm-ups. Set. Down. Set. Two more, down. Set. Down. Set. Good, stand up and just watch. We're going plunger now. I want starting with right hand pressure. We're trying to be as quick and efficient as we can getting that ball in. I suggest bending your stick a little bit to start. So you just lock that thing in right away. Five reps, down. Set. I don't know why we're still going early. Down, make sure you're doing your push ups. Down. Set. Down. Set. Alex, down. Yeah, that was early. I got eyes. Set. Down, last one. Set. Good, last five, eyes up and just watch again. Between our ankle and our knee, I think that's pretty much the optimal height for left hand because we have a lot of control to lift and finish, to rotate, to drop back down and to crank back if we need to, down. Set. Down. 
So to me, this is where a shooting stick could rip the shaft off the horn. Set. AJ, that's early. You move down. Set. Down. Last two. Set. Down. Set. Good, grab a partner. You got five half clamps each versus clamps. Half clamps versus clamps. Ready. 10 seconds restart. Down. Set. Don't pull the ball out yet. Down. Set. Set all your weight in. Make sure your body position's perfect. We're just clamping. Down. Set. Good. Down. Set. Good, nice job, it's better than last week. Way to get that edge down and kind of peel back after you drive in initially. Down, last rep. Set. Good, nice job. Your clamps been dialed since last week, huh? I know, I got this. You got lucky against me the first time. Ready. Second time I gave you the work. Down. Let's just get warmed up, you know? Set. Good, try to get it all the way in the throat. I know sometimes it bounces off the ball stop, but lock it down. Down. Set. Good. All the way in the throat though. Don't leave any room. Down, two more. Set. Last one, down. Set. Step out for a sec. Good, eyes up. Three reps apiece. I'm half clamping. As Henry goes to exit, just exit on the whistle. Go. I'm trying to stop him with some dummy pressure. Just three reps apiece, different exit every time. Ready. Switch up every, uh, I would go three in a row. So you get comfortable exiting, he gets comfortable getting to his feet. Where do we want to get if we're the guy trying to disrupt? Do we stay in place? No. We try to get in front of him, so both, we have one foot on each side of his stick. That way we can contest both directions. If he goes to rotate backwards, what do we do? Uh, we follow, but we don't overstep, because then we get hit front door. Down. Set. Bro, you're going to let him fast break when you know you're playing defense? We challenge him. Where's the last spot? You should let him go right now. That's right. Down. Yeah, it's actually sick. Set. Good, Dom. Remember when you feel shovel? Back door. Yeah, you can go anywhere. Ready. I said he shouldn't be letting you go forward. Down. Set. Good. Nice job. The handhold you guys can count. Down. If you haven't switched, we'll do four more. Down. Set. Better with your clamp, Justin. Down. Set. Push ups. I shouldn't have to remind you guys if you want to be good. Because too many of these guys throw their body, they try to overcompensate, so this simplifies it, dumbs it down, really makes us focus on that initial drive into the ball, both down towards the ball, diagonal, so that we can either utilize our plunger or our clamp. Ready, down. Set. Good, Alex. Kids playing tie-ups on you, it's first move only. Don't worry about it. No. It's like when people beat me in tie-ups, I'm like, dude, I can't rotate yet. Ready. 
It's like Derek 101. He just throws his left. I'm like, dude, I'm I literally on both knees. Down! Set! You lead a horse to water, George. Set! Be like, did they start early tonight? That's what you gotta say to him. <laughs> Get up. What? Set! You slid past that one too much down the line. Clamps, my group's of three. You guys will get two of each. Ready? Three rakes versus three clamps. Do them in a row. Don't alternate. I think it helps you get a better feel for raking and your opponent's tendencies. Down. Remember, aim at the ball or his stick. Keep your left hand low. Set. Nice rake. Good secondary move to find the ball and scrape it out. It don't gotta be pretty, you just gotta pick it up. Yeah. <laughs> Ready! Down! The Raid King. Set! Push ups. Good rake out. Try to do a thing where He's good at raking. He said he raked Brock the whole game. Oh, yeah, I did, yeah. <laughs> you know that back door? <laughs> Attaboy. Set! That looked like a jam almost. I know. I appreciate the loyalty, bro. You're a good guy. Are you going to camp too this summer? Yeah. You are. He's. You've been though, right? I'm gonna go. Did you go last year? Yeah. Yeah. You went last year. I got stuffed. I got snubbed in the finals. Ray, you didn't get. How'd you get snubbed? He's going like bell to the stand six times. All right. Well, I'll be on top. That George is the filmer, dude. He should have called him out. Down. Called it, but then the TV or something. Dude, I got overruled by one of those guys that says they take a lot of face offs. Set. <laughs> Good job. You had that too. Don't pull it through your legs yeah, because guess what? That's when he that's when he pulled it out because you're done with your motion. If you keep that coming, trust me, I used to do the scissor rake all the time until I'm like, I'm limiting how much I can do it. And Charlie and Leonard, who's better at raking than me, is the one who showed me that. Ready! Set! A job with your plunge. I thought you were raking. I was like, why is he so firm with his grip? Nice job, though. Yeah. You were there. That's when you hit up somebody with a quick shovel. Rep six, right? Ready. Down. Set. Nice, Cooney. Way to keep that coming, dude. You were stuck in there, and you got to lift and transfer up. Like, you had a lot of it. He just did a good job following. 50-50s. Set. Nice. Good counter. You two go. Go and Eli's group in the corner. They have three. Set. Yes, Marcus. You, I, I like the effort of not dropping back. That was good. He just overplayed you on like, he pushed his top edge in and kind of pulled back in his stance and then threw. He just worked underneath you, but I'm. I'll hold this thing. Yeah, and then face me like we're in a tie up. Oh, 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 my. Set. So push against me. Now step when I step. So if we get locked up, right? Yeah. Step to the middle. Right, so most people hop and you can drive through. Yeah. Hold your left foot firm and now step to the middle of your stance with your right. Now step out with your left. And now see on that third step, you're back to like a comfortable position where you can actually get around, yeah. but it allows you to get into your rotation without compromising. Yeah. Ready, rep four, down. Set. I do that with little kids, I hold their hands and talk them. Th this is how you rotate. One, two, rep five, down. Set. Yes, keep pushing forward. Now, you know what happened? Push it forward. You know, you lost your angle on your wrist, right? And it kind of felt like you had no more weight. Yeah. Your left hand has to whip around. And as you punch this hand, watch my thumb. I have to turn it into the ball so I can press over it, right? Keep that wrist motion. This has to move in sync with your left hand, right? That way you stay on the ball. Gotcha. All right, that was five. So every week we've been trying to tackle one topic, a learning topic. A lot of these guys are experienced, they come every week. So I try to hit home one new thing that they can improve upon. So we're gonna ask them and hear what they gotta say. All right, listen up. One drill before we go into lives. Someone give me something, and if you guys all feel the same way about it, that 
sure. You struggle with, you see gives you trouble, give open form. What? Second move. Second move. What about second move? How many guys, well, admit it, drop back sometimes in their second move? Is that something you guys want to fix? Yes. All right, let's practice our kickstand drill. So, I need, you want to come down with me, Matthew? I think you and I have done this. And then who wants to be the third? All right, hop out, Ketchin. He's the monitor. What's the monitor to do at recess? Make sure nobody's getting in trouble. You guys aren't doing stuff you're not supposed to. If you guys want, you can make punishments within your group, like five push-ups, or sometimes I've seen psycho face-off kids do like stick slaps. We don't have to do that here, but what I want to practice is posting up on our right knee so that one, we can cut guys off who try to out-rotate us, or two, we can stay in place and really finish over the ball. If you see that one of us drops back, it's five push-ups, all right? You let us know. We're just going to do a three-man rotation. So on this go call, down, set, go. We're going to both try to push this elbow into our triceps. So see how I almost get back flex here? Did I just steal the ball? Yes, when I see this, it's left hand up and I'm gone, okay? Now, what happens if he out rotates me because I stay in place here, go? I can step in front of him and see how now my leg's under a stick? If I go a little further, you see how I can jam this back now that I'm into his body? I just pulled him off it. So you can crank back without dropping your feet back and win the face off. Additionally, if he really gets around me, go, and he's got most of it, I step here, see I can just box him out and steal the ball, right? Both really effective, way more effective than dropping back. So right now, I want everyone working through that. And I think the ideal motion here is not that you have to crank back, but ready, we'll feel it out. If I think I get more of this, I'm gonna saw and finish. If I think I get a little less, maybe I hold and try to cut them off. You wanna call it for us? Down, set, go. One nothing. You guys got it? Did I have to drop back to get power there? No. We'll do 10 or 12 reps and then we'll get into the lines. Good call. On the elbow or back bicep? That tricep, really. It's like my knee actually gets placed like on the between my tricep. So really between my shoulder and elbow, and I can hold here with a lot of weight, and it frees up my left hand to be active and saw without losing pressure. Derek's got the whistle. First move needs to be towards the ball. You just kind of punched your left hand a little bit and came off of it. Ready! Which is fine. Down! Set! Like that, yeah. So that's what I want you to do off the whistle, right? Like, it's okay to sit sometimes, but if you lift that left hand a little bit and continue to press down into the ball, that's what's gonna get you your plastic over the ball and under the set. Right. So weird. Down! Set! One thing you did wrong that you probably like won't recognize until you watch the film, you're lifting your chest up, right? Which means you're only using your arms to hold down onto the ball. You need to use your legs, right? So you keep that ass high, you're the ball with that ass higher. When you go like this, you're taking a lot of pressure off of it. <laughs> Is any situation going to be identical? Rarely, right? Rarely. Every face off is a little bit different. A lot of it's trial and error. You guys make mistakes and lose because you're trying something new. I don't think that's a loss, that's just a learning graph. Ready. Jam! See that? A little IQ right here. Here, go over here with. Right here. Yes, finish. Did you even go? 
No, you're good. Yeah. I like the shirt, dude. Yeah, let's see it. Shit. Uh, yes, go out. Oh, uh, you got him on the cutoff. Step further to the right, AJ. Just body him off. Yep, keep going. Oh, the oh, fin mask. You have to throw like your butt around. <laughs> that was, dude, that was really good. Alex, or, yeah, that, that was, was That was really good. Trust me, that's more sustainable. Than Here you go. Down. Yeah. Okay. Brand new thing. Outside so I know you're doing like that. Yo. Leave it. Leave it. Big <laughs> bully. <laughs> I think I'm telling you Do you want to talk it up a bit? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we're getting into our seating portion of the evening. We're separating into three rows because we have a lot of kids here tonight. So it's more so skill based, uh, based on where you get going. So you're not just losing every time and you're not just winning every time. It's really good competition based on your level of play. But yeah, so we're getting into the seating portion and it's uh, time to get after it. Set. <laughs> he's, he's really fast. He's good. His clamps been good. But look, you're moving at the same time as him. Yeah. But how flat are you getting? Not. Flat. Not that flat. So just flatten out a little more, and I think you'll be there. Set. You missed the ball a little bit. Do you like being that low with your butt? Or are you just trying to look, dude? Your first move is good. You're there. Now watch you. Kind of slide past, so here, and then you move past it. So what does this tell me? You didn't use your left hand enough. So lift your left as you get there, and you'll close right down on the ball. All right, so think, a little more plunger. Good job with your second move. It's getting a lot better. He does, like, you're the 50-50 there, and this is a way better job with you. And then see how you start to peel back, like we talked about. Good job. And then also, just, like, left hand move. Like, I've seen a lot of, like, kids with face flex really pull it back and try and snap down. I like snapping down, but I also go like a couple inches forward because that way I can rip it out if I have. How do you like really work on that? Cause like I have the bands and I try and like hook it up and try and punch it. Just set something up that you got to punch at in front of you. Like I set a ball up and I just try to punch right above it like an inch. Ready, I'll show you it then, just remind me. Set. You're not slow, look. Look at your left hand, did you use it? Um. No, and look at his comes up. Good job, rather than you see how you pull back and you expose the ball, Yeah. come down. Just clamp and hit my foot kind of. Go from here, now bring your left foot up to here, right? And now you don't expose it at all, you get the same pinch and you're out. Yeah. yeah. Right, so it's boom, step out. Oh, and then bring your feet to your stick rather than your stick to your feet. Ready. Set. Good. Right, and that time you did it, the one thing I would say to add, turn this left shoulder as in, that's kind of how you should do it, like clamp it. Now ready, hop close and just turn that shoulder. So now if I go to stand up and play D, you can go either direction. Round eight, red. Set. Good pull. He beat you the ball, he was right on the whistle. Let's watch the one before though. Did you go early? Good clamp. Three. Look, you win the clamp at two, three. Get out sooner, unless you don't like fast breaks. Set. Stance. Look how tight your feet are. He's way shorter than you, and his left foot's out. Side is butt end. You guys have the same size sticks, right? Yeah. So why would your feet be tighter? And then look what you do with your left foot on the whistle. You have to move it. Did he move his at all? No. No, right? Just start a little wider. That was better. Let's go. Right. We're down. Set. The only thing I want you to do is turn towards the ball. You might not like it at first, but look. 
You win the race here, and now watch how awkward this is, because now you're not turned, and you never get turned, and the ball's just not in the throw. Yeah. Turning, and I've figured this out again, going knee down, like I'm trying to, you know, face off different with my knee, and I'm like, if, I, if I'm not angled at the ball, it's so hard to get down the line. It's just unnatural, so make sure your shoulders point a little more. That's point. Round nine, rep three, ready. Down. Yes, remember we said cross the line. Imagine there's a line right here in the middle. You gotta get there. Down. Set. Going down. Or nothing. This isn't bad, but look. You win the race, and look at all your weight just kind of stops, and look at your left foot. Yeah. I don't like that. So I want to see when you get here, the knee should go into that arm, and you can jam yeah. forward and come back. Try to hold that left foot in the ground more. Uh, I'm just screwed your lineup. Ready? Set. Oh. You're not getting enough of it. Yeah. Look, wrist, and look at your elbow extends down. Get your butt lower. Like, look, Sam actually is better here. So when he extends, he gets more of the ball. Do I have it there? You do. This is kind of, you both kind of do, I'm right? This, sure. is, this is in between both your sticks. And then look, watch, when you move your foot forward, you push it in, right? For you. Less jamming down, more left elbow, right elbow, knees bent, jam through. All right. All right? You're not far off, though. Your speed is good. Set. You were, the, you were close there. Good job on your poles. So look, you react, and look, your, your stick's actually touching the ball, but he just pulls quicker, right? That was a good read. What can you do, and I don't know if you guys did this in technique, but you have more of it here. This is where you can step and get around, wiggle your left hand, you'll get all of it, so you don't have to throw it on the ground. Yeah. Right, it's, e it's easier to catch it than yeah. to go chase it. Ready! A little quicker with your poles. Set. Cool. Yes, Walter, good GV. Set. Nice job on the rig. Come here, this is way better. Why don't you get more of the ball? Right, good job. Progress, one rep at a time. All right, grab a sip. Set. Batter, good job, finish. Control the exit. You don't have to take it easy on him. Good hustle. You had a lot of that. You came too high though. Yeah. Uh, down. So I would just, you're tall, dude. Why not a little? Sit back a little. Set. Come back. I know, come back. Keep your shoulders, so line up, try to widen out, but get your shoulders closer to the ball. It's so like here, and think about there, right? Yeah. That's where I want you to get, and this hand should move when that foot pushes. Ready! <laughs> and I mean, he's in college. If he beats you to the whistle, he beats you to the whistle. He should. Down! Set! I was better, but you shot your weight a lot. We'll get better if you like limiting how much body weight you're transferring because it kind of limits how much your hands can just be affected. Uh, ready. Set. No, that was five. That was five if you lost. Come set. Get him, Henry. You got too extended, right? Yeah, I got that. I'm like, all right, here's their numbers. Set. Set. Score! Goal. <laughs> it's a goal. <laughs> oh, stay on it. All right. 
That's gonna be a re. What? <laughs> re face. I would have got him with that kid's face. I, I know. He did a good job staying in the mix, though. He kept trying to box you out. Oh! A universal injustice right there. That didn't, even, that, that didn't touch the ground. That's <laughs> Good rake, good rake, good rake. Yeah, that was a good rake. Yeah. Here you go. Gonna start with closing the shutout first. a good move to stay on it. Do you think Graham's gonna win the go this side? This is the very finals. This is the very finals. Those guys are going for third over there. Down. Stand away. Down. You flinch. Set. Body. Oh, 
percent. No. Oh. I thought you had that. Good pull. <laughs> Set. Two. Set. Finish it. Leading twos. Set. Oh, Graham. Finish. That's not playing. All right, everyone on Reese's side, you got 20 push ups. Everyone on Graham's side. All right. Okay. I got to shut you up about something. <laughs> everyone hop in front. We'll do a photo. We'll get you guys out of here. I know it's late. I'm sorry. What are you going to do? I'm scared. Just stand up here. Back up a little bit. How many of you guys watch, before we start, how many of you guys watch the videos every week on YouTube? I do. If your hand's not up, you're wasting a really good opportunity to get better and use a valuable resource. How many of you guys, be honest, skip through and look for yourself in the video? I do it because certain people ask me questions and I'll skip through and look for people, so I do it too, right? We don't have time to watch everything always, but at least watching yourself is a great place to start. Is he recognizable with his yellow shirt on? He usually wears his flannel. This is Walter. You guys think so? <laughs> what about Graham with the Buckeyes on the helmet and the Pokemon sweatshirt? Recognizable? When you guys skip through, I want you to ask yourself if these two don't go after every ground ball 100% every time. And if you guys can look yourself in the mirror and don't say you do the same thing, but these guys are doing it, how bad do you really want it? Right? I can't win the ground balls for you. If you guys watch me play, I look more like these two than a lot of you guys because I don't want to quit on any face-off. I don't want to leave my team out to dry and I believe that there's always a chance to win it. You guys all need to have that same belief and that's the easiest way to go from 40% to 45 or 45 to 50. Effort. All right? Good job, boys. I don't like to sing, single people out, but you guys scrap and I respect it. All right? Everyone grab a knee. We'll get a group photo. Then you guys can get out of here.